Hi everyone, my name is Dan and these videos are for people new to testing and I will demonstrate how we complete each test and how to complete your schedule of test results. This video is how to complete an R1 plus R2 test on a radial circuit but more importantly on a two-way lighting circuit because there's lots of places that we need to take our R1 plus R2 reading from in a two-way lighting circuit. Now before you start your test, ensure you've got your on-site guide with you and you are on the correct page. For R1 plus R2 test of a radial circuit, you need to be on page 113. Now if you look at that page 113, the uh, first bit of text it tells you to do is to form a temporary link between the live and the earthing conductor. So bridge the, the live, so find out which circuit that you're using, and that you're testing, sorry, and the, uh, it says take out, it shows you, take out the live cable um, and with a small little crocodile clip cable attach the crocodile clip to one end of the live and the other to your earth bar. Um, now that's not the best way to perform a temporary link. Um, if we now have a, quick, a closer look I'll show you a better way how to perform a temporary link on a R1 plus R2 radial circuit. I'm going to test the ground floor lighting circuit. So I locate the correct MCB, it's this one here, um, it says ground floor lighting, so we remove the live, the brown cable, and the on-site guide will show you to use a small set of temporary uh, link leads like this, and we will connect onto this brown cable, and then we just connect that to anywhere in the earth bar. Now a problem there is that we're going to now test all of the earths that are still connected within our earth bar. So it's not the best way to do an R1 plus R2 test because it will give us a false reading. The better way, what we need to do is locate the earth for my lighting circuit. So that was number one. So if I go to earth point number one And now I remove that, and if I now form my temp connect my temporary lead to it, there, that is a much better way. Now, what you will need to do is make sure when you know your leads, include this temporary link within your test leads when you null it. Otherwise, what I will end up doing is recording the resistance of this short bit of red cable at the same time. Another way that we can form the temporary link is using a, a Wago or a good old chop block um, and we can just connect the two cables together. So I'm going to use this method because I have nulled the lead uh, within, my, within my tester. So let's go back to the switches, my lighting circuit and we'll have a closer look at where we need to test within the lighting circuit itself. So we've just completed our temporary link between the live and the earth and our DB. Now we can come away from the DB and we go to our circuit, because that's where all of our testing is going to be done. This is a two-way lighting circuit. So in two-way lights, there are three lives. We need to test between earth and live. So we've got to do three tests in each switch. So we need to test between a test probe on the earth and then onto the common test between earth and L1 and then we test between earth and L2 and we want to take the highest reading so you need to memorize the highest reading of those. Now when you're testing between the L1 and L2 one of those won't give you a reading because the switch is in the off position it's connecting between common and L1 so if you get no reading turn the switch and it's now made between common and L2 and it will then give you a reading. So you need to repeat the same process at your second two-way switch, test between earth and common, earth L1, earth L2, remembering to turn the switch on uh, so it goes over to the L1 or L2, whichever one doesn't give you a reading. Now we test our lighting point, and again we test between the earth 
and the live point. I have my reading, and now we will write down the highest reading of those tests, and that will be in column 21 on your um, schedule of test results for R1 plus R2. So to fill out the test sheet for our ground floor lighting circuit R1 plus R2, we locate the ground floor lighting circuit, and that was circuit number 9, and we turn the page. Circuit number 9, and we are going to complete column 21. So our R1 plus R2 value that we got was 0 0.23. And that is it. That's all we need to complete for the R1 plus R2. Now, if we have a quick look at the uh, page 113 of the on site guide, it tells us how to complete a continuity of R1 plus R2. Uh, the picture shows a temporary link here. The picture shows it's using a crocodile lead between the earth bar and it has removed the live from the MCB. Now, you can use that way if you like. What we did, we took out the live from our MCB and we just connected it straight into our earth bar. Either way is just as good. And then it shows your testing between earth and live at each point in your circuit and you would record the highest value. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level 2 and level 3 in electrical installation. Now if you want my tabs that I have on my BS 7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical installation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers, he or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.